Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Ritchie. Thanks again for joining me. Now we're in the middle of a sequence of videos where we're talking about cataract surgery. In May, we talked about cataract surgery. How do I know when I should have surgery? In June, I talked about standard cataract surgery and how that's the process that makes your vision better. Take out the cataract, put in the new lens, but you might need glasses to get your best vision. And we talked about standard cataract surgery using some basic measurements of the eye, measurements of the curvature of the cornea, and the length of the eye from front to back, and those are used to determine this implant, but they're less than optimal. And today I want to talk about one of the upgrade options for cataract surgery. And I want to emphasize why this is an upgrade. For years, we've used those two measurements to calculate the lens implant. That really set the tradition or it set the precedent that insurance companies and Medicare now use to say, well, that's all you need. So that is all they pay for. Unfortunately, over the last 25 years, or fortunately, depending on your perspective, we have gotten significantly better at measuring the eye. We've developed techniques that can measure the eye in 18 different ways. And we've developed lens implant calculation formulas that will use these advanced and this multitude of measurements to better predict what lens implant will work the best. So the new techniques take that margin of error and shrink it down so that now we have the potential to be that much more precise when we calculate the power of this lens implant that your eye will need. Problem, insurance companies only recognize the basic two measurements as necessary for cataract surgery. And Medicare has decreed that if we're going to do more than those basic two measurements, we have to charge the patient extra out of pocket. That's why we have these upgrades. So let me review again that the upgrade option is going to measure not only the curvature of the cornea, but multiple curvatures of the cornea. It's going to measure the length of the eye from the cornea to the iris, from the cornea to the old cataract, from the cornea to the new lens implant, from the cornea to the back of the eye. And we're going to incorporate all of these measurements to increase the precision with which we use to calculate this implant. That allows us to pick an outcome. And the outcome I want to talk about first is our Max HD with blended vision outcome. Because I now have greater precision in selecting my lens implant, I can pick an outcome that's more specific. And what we typically do is we, we opt for distance vision. Now, you all probably know people who have great distance vision, but can't do anything up close without readers. That works, but I like a blended vision option. And that is, using these advanced techniques, I can take your dominant eye and focus it for distance. So let's say your right eye dominant, we'd focus your right eye for distance, but I'd take your left eye and I'd leave you just a little bit nearsighted. What's the advantage of that? The advantage is the two eyes are still close enough together that they work smoothly together, but you get a little added vision up close. Now, for up here, you'd still need readers, but you typically need reading glasses about 50% less than if we didn't do the blended option. So most people with blended vision can read things out just a little further. That allows you to do simple things like write a check, read your phone. You can't read it up here, but it's out there. Read the mail, look at the newspaper, figure out it's out there. Most people can do most of that without reading glasses. Now, if you find something that intrigues you and you're gonna read it in close, 
or you're going to read for a long time, you'll be more comfortable if you put on reading glasses. But you could get by pretty good with the blended vision option. That is our Max HD with blended vision option, one of the upgrades available with cataract surgery. In the upcoming months, we'll talk about two other opportunities. Thanks for joining me.